I have to, and I have a doctor's note now that says that I have to eat every two hours. Even if it's a next time, eat like a protein bar, whatever it is, but I gotta maintain my sugars. So, and all that, and take my medicine properly, which I have been trying to. People are trying to go live that I don't even know. What's up, kittykins? What's up, Dawn? I can't chew peanuts. I wish I could eat nuts. I love nuts of all kinds, right? But I can't chew them with my teeth. So I gotta find like soft proteins. Like even if it's a spoonful of peanut butter was another option. Um, cottage cheese and shit. But basically I got a doctor's note. I need to start bringing my... When I first started working, I always had my lunchbox with me and I had like cheese and yogurts and shit like that. I gotta start doing that again. No, my eyebrows are not tattooed on. They are microbladed. So, it's like he said, even a spoonful of peanut butter for protein's fine, and um, that's what's happening. So during the day, while I'm at work, I'm like basically running low on the shit that I need. Like I need to eat more. That's just plain it. And then at night, I need to eat too. I can't quit. They, it's the same old song and dance that I've been hearing for years. Basically. Alcohol turns into glucose, which is sugar, and it spikes my blood levels, and it spikes, like, um, a bunch of different things. And I'm not eating, I'm just drinking, and then, so I'm way far up, then it starts to come down. Well, I go to work, and I start exercising and shit a lot, and it goes way far down. It drops, like, my blood sugar. So, basically, what's happening is I'm, like, my body's fighting itself to stay alive. So, I'm making another stomach out of my intestine. So, I don't eat. Just, it was almost like another bypass. So, here I am. No drinking, no smoking, and I still live my life. Here's how I see it, and I know a lot of people don't agree with me with this, and I know you've seen me almost die and all that, and you guys rode out with me in the hospital, but motherfuckers, they've already told me. This is a death sentence. This is, this is never going to fucking go away. You're always going to have them, and, you know, I'm on a fuck ton of medicine now for it, but... You're always going to have them, and this is the way I feel about it. If I'm going to die, I'm going to go out the way I fucking want to. Break it, smoke it, whatever, cuss it, whatever. Okay, I'm going to die no matter what from this. It is what it is. I'm like, hell, am I going to live like a fucking angel to die? Hell no. I'm going to do me, and if I die, I die, okay? I guess it's my time to go. No. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, if you just, no, oh, if you will go and live miserable too, you want me to take everything that I enjoy in my life out of it to fucking, no. To live? No. Exactly, Nicole. You just get to a point where just live your life, live it how you want to. It's going to get you one day or another, you know. So, why would you go out miserable and take all the things like I enjoy smoking, I enjoy drinking, all this? Why would I take the things that I like out of my life to be miserable until the day I die? No, thank you. She's fully aware of the damage she has and is still doing to herself. I don't think yogurt, cheese, and a spoon of peanut butter is going to help. Or acting like alcohol isn't the reason her health has gone to hell. So every two hours or when I'm awake, I have to eat a protein and a carb. Even if I go back to forth, it has to do both. And like I have to maintain a healthy diet. Like even if it's fruit, I gotta watch out with fruit and watch the pops and shit like that that's overly sugary. But if I get too low or I start to feel real weak, I need to eat sugar. Oh, I'm just drinking cranberry juice. Oh, I'm just drinking cranberry juice. Oh, I'm just drinking cranberry juice. But it's like fucking me up, guys. I don't like I don't like the way I'm feeling. Like I get real fucking dizzy and real nauseous to my stomach. Like, oh shit. And like I just don't like it. So, I need to start maintaining what I'm doing, you know? Sure, Jan.
Mm -mm. It has enough. I mean, it should maintain it, but... <sighs> I know, Cindy, but I like to beeline that shit. Because I let my liver handle what my heart can't. And I haven't been able to find a way out of this addiction for going on six, seven years. You know, I've almost died twice and it hasn't stopped me. Something's really wrong with me. Something is fucking wrong with me. And I know it. I don't need everybody on the internet or beyond to fucking tell me something's wrong. Hell, I know. I live this every day. What, like the Avon Yard? I'm close to that. When I'm at work, I'm real close to the a CSX Railroad, but in Brownsburg, where I live, not so much. No, well, thank you. It's probably just the lighting. There's a, a sun beaming on me right now. It's not real life. Hit the like button. Mm. This sun is brutal right now here. I'll move it over this way so we can actually see each other. What's up, Jillian from Florida? Louise, thank you. I don't feel beautiful. Let me tell you, I have felt like dog shit the past few days. I'm just now starting to feel a little bit better. I'm an alcoholic. I'm an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be blunt. Oh, I'm just drinking cranberry juice. What lipstick do I wear? I wear Maybelline Nude 24 hour stay. And then <clears throat> I get like whatever kind of darkish, a little darker color than that to outline my lips because I think I'm fucking Pamela Anderson Lee. I am not, and but I think that I am. So just let me live that life. I'm trying to take care of myself the best that I can, but unfortunately, until I let go of the alcohol, my problems are just gonna be my problems. Uh, my health problems and all that they're just gonna stay no matter how hard I've tried or you know I've almost died twice <coughs> and it still hasn't stopped me from this is full-blown addiction and everyone's like oh go to rehab no my insurance will only cover like a week maybe eight days nine days at the most that's not gonna do anything I'm gonna tell you exactly how I am I'm gonna get in there the first couple of days I'm gonna be like yeah I need to get sober by day three I'm gonna be like I need to get the fuck out of here and I'm going to kick into the mode, say whatever you got to say, fake it till you make it, act like you're going to go to ch change, get you a sponsor, and then the day you get out, I know exactly where you're going to be at, you know, you're going to be at the bar or somewhere else. My eyebrows are the way they are. Me, my sister, and my mom have the same eyebrows. One is higher than the other. That's just how we are. That's just, 
I mean, my eyebrows are microbladed. I can't do anything other than what they are. And they went along my natural crease. So if you don't like it, then don't watch me. Oh, fuck. I hear fast. Oops, guys. I gotta go. I didn't realize. Someone would be here this fast. We have company. Gaming granny, I know, but I need like intense therapy, like long term, like n a month ain't gonna cut it. I need like a three month at least. No, I'm not married. Why you wanna get married? American Sports Story, Aaron Hernandez. All new Tuesdays on FX. Stream on Hulu. I look good, right? Work on a farm? To get my son away. I don't know if I'm signing up for farm work or not. That's hard work. I think farm work is very hard work, actually. Oh, I'm just drinking cranberry juice. Oh, I'm just drinking cranberry juice. I can't believe she tried to lie, saying, Oh, I'm just drinking cranberry juice. Girl, we know you. Even before she told on herself, I think we all knew there was more than cranberry juice in that cup. The stream ended abruptly. I think Big Belly Trent came to pick her up. I missed it, but last night I guess she was live for a bit eating, showing off their crab leg feast. So guess she is still with Trent. After crab legs, I guess she went live again, and they were in the hot tub. I was told Katie was falling asleep in the hot tub and Trent had to keep waking her. Luckily, he was there, or she could have had something bad happen. If you watch this stream, give us the tea in the comments. LOL, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.